born and raised in Big Stone Gap. Morning, beautiful. I don't know why you honking the horn. I'm standing out here black as night. I know you can see me. Before I knew it, it was 1978 and I turned 40. I was the old maid. Well, at this point, you just got to take whatever you can get. What is the biggest mi misconception for people about like a small town like this, you know, for people from a big city? What, what would you want people to take away from this film? I think that, I think most people may think that uh, people that live in a small town don't have um, kind of a real world sense. And maybe because their translation or interpretation of a real world life is simple, honest, direct, loving, kind, caring. Um, you know, there's not a lot of uh, television's running 24 hours a day there. Uh, there's this quite a connectivity with social media now, but there's an honesty and an authenticity to it that I hope people see. Because I don't think people think, you know, uh, by and large, small town people are educated and ready for uh, just about anything. And I think maybe more so there, because they depend on each other more. The movie touches upon a lot um, about, you know, happiness is for other people, and if mm. you could redo your life, um, what would it be? So I want to ask you, if there was anything you could redo with your life, would there be one particular thing? Believed in myself more when I was um, younger. God asked me to marry you. Will you be my maid of honor? Darling, let's get you married. The room's drawn. Oh. And the two shall be one. Wow! Oh. Lord of mercy. Is anybody at this wedding so? And what do you want people to take away from this, from this film altogether? Love is worth the risk and vulnerability can be rewarded. I've given everything I have to this place. I want to see you do so much that it changes me. Tell me you're trying to cure a seven year I like being the town spinster. It has cachet. Yeah, well, you can't hug cachet.